फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट सर अ न्यू फीचर इज बींग इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन द कंपनीज एक्ट विच वॉज नेवर देयर बिफोर neither in the companies act 1913 nor the companies act 1956 or the various amendments that have been made since 1956 only an abridged form of the profit and loss account and the annual report will be sent to the shareholders and on payment of fee he will be entitled to get the full report as he is getting now if the honorable minister looks into the representations from various shareholders associations over the years you will find that even the existing requirement of information to be provided to the shareholders is not enough in fact shareholders associations have already represented that the information given to them should be much more specific in companies which have got various divisions it should be division wise there are a lot of other features which they have pointed out from time to time here we find a bill which has been ostensibly brought to protect these very small shareholders and depositors which takes away even the existing rights being given to them it is a very serious matter in corporate functioning as we have seen over the last few years i may venture to say that even the sachar committee recommendations have become a little out of date because in the last 5 years especially after this government has come to power there has been a sea change in the operation of the corporate sector this particular act which is the main act governing the administration of the companies in the corporate sector can not be effective in spite of over 600 sections and a vast army of company law administration officials all over the country the small depositors and the shareholders will always be left at the mercy of a certain government bureaucrat or a certain department for instance in spite of all these powers which the company law board enjoys this particular amending bill says that certain powers will be shifted from the high court to the company law board it makes no difference the ultimate authority is the government the company law board will be executing its decisions through the government now i want to know if the company law is effective then how we have got massive cases of duping the investors are totally taken for a right it is totally contradictory to the spirit of the sachar committee which had a very socialist approach it is contrary if i may submit with your permission to the thinking of their own prime minister i do not understand who is the author of this bill i do not understand how this kind of omnibus bill without direction has been brought this is one of the most poorly drafted pieces of legislation that i have come across i submit that apart from these things if the honorable minister may allow me 
to submit i have seen in the administration of companies for smaller things they are more particular if a company is not filing some paper on time promptly they will send a notice but there are some other companies which i know of which are not repaying their depositors depositors are knocking at their doors and nobody is listening to them this kind of anomaly must be corrected since this is a very important act in the sense that the entire corporate sector is administered by this act if the government has any power to discipline companies it is through this act and if this act is treated in such a careless manner i am at my wits end to understand how larger companies will ever come within the framework of any discipline at all they will know whenever any controversy starts we start the controversy of the public sector and the private sector this is a needless controversy in this country we need the private sector and we need the public sector in this country we need large companies and we need small companies everybody must play his role as per the scheme of the constitution as per the scheme of various resolutions we in the opposition may or may not agree with the government's policies but just now the government policies must adhere at least to what their own avowed objectives are this bill does not even conform to their own pattern it is strange to me i do not understand how these provisions have found their way into this bill specially in relation to the entire corporate deposits and loans just because a few high court judgments have clearly stated that a loan is different from a deposit the reason you are giving is that this will also include the provision to plug loop holes and remove some lacunae this is not a loop hole or a lacuna loans and deposits are two different things but by an act of parliament we are trying to change the context and the meaning of the entire corporate operations and functions stop